All right, we're back on here. We got cut out somehow. I think maybe we will infiltrated by some freaking Russian KGB spies or some shit. Fucking up my broadcast. Now I don't even know where we left off. I was getting all worked up. Anyway, we left off with talking about stepping out of your comfort zone. Me in front of these live videos for you. Again, this is Steve Says, episode number 36. It's about losing your fucking ego and stepping out of the comfort zone, learning from everyone you meet, everyone you come across. We already started going into it. It's going to pick up right where you left off. We're not going to go back over the other shit. It was like three or four minutes. You can check it out in a video right before this, right where we left off. So basically, I was in the middle of saying that going in front of a camera or a crowd, that's me stepping out of my comfort zone. That's me doing things that I'm not used to doing or don't like doing or going in front of a crowd or speaking or going to events all the way around the world. I go to these events as a student. And for me not to be in charge and not be the leader and be calling the shots, that's fucking tough for me. But in stepping out of my comfort zone and doing it often and forcing myself to do it often, like these videos, like traveling around the world, like going to do speaking in front of, in front of big groups, it enables me to provide better leadership and better service for all of you freaks out there. For me always to be learning and growing and fucking improving so I can be better prepared to make sure I can help all of you find those solutions you know, and doing whatever the fuck it takes on my part to find the solutions to your problems. Like, you need to, you need to be willing to take risks. You need to just take a shot. And, and you can't just be a scared little bitch. Like, Wayne Gretzky says, you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. And like I said, we're, we are filled with quotes here in this. We already gave you a few killer quotes about learning and stepping out of your comfort zone and taking action and taking massive fucking action. You need to be willing to fail, but never be willing to lose. Learn from your failures and your mistakes. Fair is only going to make you stronger when you fail, make you smarter, more resilient, more confident. Look at baseball. Freaking a, a baseball player that has a 300 career average, Derek Jeter. Everyone thinks he's like God, whatever, even though he's on the, on the bullshit Yankees or whatever. A 300 career batting average. Say you have 300 career batting average. That means you only got to hit three out of every 10 times. That means you failed seven out of 10 times and you're fucking considered great in your sport. So think about it. Imagine a, a, a Derek Jeter, every time he got out, he just was down on himself, being a little bitch about it, and that's seven times out of ten. He would suck. He would never make it. You need to be resilient. You need to you know, let those failures, learn from them, think of what you're going to do when you come back next time, and, and how you're going to improve and get better. An old African proverb says, smooth seas do not make skillful, skillful sailors. Meaning, if you're just always cruising on an easy ocean, obviously, you're not going to get better at what you're doing. If you're not having a tough time, you're not failing and fucking learning from your failures, and using that to make yourself better and improve and, and stronger, if you just fucking crumble under the pressure like a little bitch, then you're never going to be skillful or never improve or never get the results, no matter what we're talking about, whether it's fitness, nutrition, weight loss, your career, your job, whatever the hell you're talking about at home, your, your family, whatever the hell it is, it doesn't matter. If you, if you suck at something, but it's a passion of yours, or you need it, or you need to do it, you need to be willing to fucking learn it, and you need to be willing to, you need to learn how to adapt and overcome. Another quote, I don't remember who said it, I just remember it was, anything worth doing well is worth doing poorly at first. Means you're probably going to suck at something when you first start it, when you try it. Especially if it's something you need. You come into the gym and you've never trained before, and you haven't trained in years and years, your whole life or whatever, and you're a little bit out of shape, you might have a few pounds to lose, you might not do so well at it first. That's why you're going to modify, you're going to adapt, you're going to overcome, you're going to look for help. You're going to reach out to people for help. You're going to not be a, a know-it-all. We're going to get into more of that in a second. So basically anything worthwhile is going to take some discipline, some hard fucking work. You know, if, if weight loss and being in great shape was easy or being success, successful in business was easy or whatever, everyone would walk around being fucking ripped and, and their little thongs up their asses all day. While, you know, well, like some people on Instagram do that with their freaking thongs up their ass. You see all they do is put pictures of their thongs up their ass and they have like, 10 million followers. Like, what the fuck? They need 10 million people to go look at their thong up their ass. Anyway, that's a whole nother topic. We'll get into that shit another time. If shit was easy, everyone would be doing it. It's about how bad do you fucking want it. That's what it's about. It's about how bad do you need it. It's about how bad do you fucking deserve it. About reaching out and learning and adapting and going and taking what's yours. That's what it's about. Are you willing to open up your fucking mind and learn what it's going to take to get there and not be so close-minded? You need to be willing to do today another one. Be willing to do today what no one else is willing to do. So tomorrow, you'll be able to do what no one else can do. Whether it's going to the gym, working on a project for work on the weekend, instead of getting wasted with your loser fucking friends, 
It means doing whatever it takes to continue moving in the direction of success and total fucking victory. That's what it means. You know, ex- examples of people you can learn from, like you can learn from any, anyone. You, can le- you should be able to learn something from anyone in unexpected places. From a, I've learned stuff from a stranger sitting next to me on an airplane. I've learned stuff from a grocery store clerk. When they're, when they're checking you out, up, bringing up your groceries. I've learned things from a fucking taxi driver driving around New York City. Or an Uber driver nowadays. I took an Uber to the airport. That bitch wouldn't shut the fuck up. Holy shit. It was like 4 in the morning going to the airport she, into, into Newark. She's just yapping the whole time. But even her, I'll find something from that situation to learn. I'm still trying to figure out what I learned from that. But I, when I figure it out, I'll fucking tell you. You can learn something from the mailman. I've learned stuff from, believe it or not, I've learned stuff from... People in the Air Force, believe it or not, a Marine learned something from people in the Air Force. A guy in the Air Force when I was stationed at Keesler Air Force Base in Mississippi, when I was like 19 years old, was one of the ones that started showing me the real way to train, the real way to lift weights, the real way to exercise, the real way to nutrition. That was one of my mentors in fitness, and it was an Air Force guy. Go figure. You can just not be closed-minded, not be such a hard-headed fucking knucklehead, and learn something from everyone you meet. Listen, coming from me, if a Marine can learn something from a guy in the Air Force... Anything in the fucking world is possible. Trust me. You can learn something from everyone you meet, even if it's just learning that you can't stand the motherfucker standing in front of you that's babbling a bunch of bullshit. You will find something to learn from it. You'll find something positive. You'll find something to make yourself better about it, no matter what. Another one. Another quote. Howard Gardner. He was an American developmental psychologist from Harvard. He said, if you think education is expensive, try estimating the cost of ignorance. It's like all about learning. You need to be constantly learning all the time, learning something new in every situation in life, always making yourself better. Please, please, please don't be a fucking know-it-all. You do not know it all. You do not have all the answers and you probably aren't as smart as you fucking think. You need to soak in your surroundings, learn to absorb the information, the ideas, the strategies, and soak in the fucking positivity around your negative ass from every situation in your life. Every little thing in your world should contribute to your growth. You need to soak that shit in like a fucking sponge, which is going to help you move closer towards your goals, towards your freaking vision, and help carve your path towards your destiny and where you're meant to go. And, you know, getting, helping you, learning to help you get past barriers and roadblocks in one way or another getting past them. Either climb over them, go around them, dig a tunnel underneath it, or my favorite way, just smash through that motherfucker head on and take that fucker out. That's just my preferred method. Anyway, you can learn, I've learned stuff, again, back from everywhere you wouldn't think. I've learned things from my father. I looked at my father when I was a kid, I saw everything that guy did, and I said, I want to be nothing like that guy, I'm going to do exactly the opposite of what he did. I could have sat there, been a little bitch, and be like, oh my God, my father does this and this, acts like this and this, and use that as an excuse to go out there and become a drunk, or a fucking crackhead, or some shit like that. I could be sitting here right now, snorting coke, although I might be bouncing around like a fucking cokehead, this is fucking Herbalife talking, and just the peak freak nature and culture, just the energy that I fucking breathe from it. I could have been sitting there doing that, and making an excuse. I learned from my kids. Imagine that. A grown fucking man, a marine, learning from a little two-year-old girl, and a little five-year-old boy at the time, when they're basically teaching me not to give a fuck what anyone in the world thinks about me when they want to wear their two different shoes. I know you hear me talk about it all the time because I want to drive that fucking point home that when they wear their shirts backwards and they wear two different shoes. Because you know why they did it? Because they don't give a fuck what people think about them. They don't care what, the, that, what other kids are going to make fun of them. And I'm a grown-up, fucking 25 years old as I am right now, and I'm like get, learning this lesson from these little kids to who gives a fuck what anyone out in the world thinks. Live life on your terms. Do shit your way. Learn from your mistakes. Learn from the people around you. Learn from any situation, every single person you come around. Tyson goes to school. He has his shirt inside out and backwards. What does he do? The teacher says, hey, Tyson, you know your shirt's, in, you know your shirt's backwards. You want, me to, you want me to help you fix it? He says, oh, I'm feeling great. He points at him, says, thanks for noticing. And he walks away. And the teacher's like this. Like, what the fuck did that little six-year-old just say to me? She's just in shock because he's on his terms. He's already walking to the beat of his own fucking drum. That's fucking pure happiness. That's what happiness is. That's going to be a whole nother topic. Anyway, let's keep rolling. If you guys have any questions, put in here. Rosa, yes, yes, Rosa. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to all you peak freaks. I sure you guys can relate. Like I said in the beginning, some people will hate and there will be a lot of them hating me and they can get in fucking line. There's a whole long line of motherfuckers that hate me. Get to the back of the line, motherfucker, because you got to wait your turn. But most people can relate. 
to what I'm talking about. You know what made this made me really realize that most people could relate to me and my fucked up way of thinking? So I'm in Las Vegas for this training. I'm, I don't really go out and get through the wasted thing and all that other bullshit. And I don't really eat unhealthy, obviously. I don't go do like those Broadway shows in New York City. So why would I do it in Las Vegas? So someone convinced me to go to a show out in Vegas. So we go to Caesar's Palace. They have a tent, tent set up there. And it's called, I don't even know how to say the word, like absinthe or absinthe or some shit like that in Las Vegas, right? So we go to this show. I don't really like that. It's in, it's in a small little tent. It's totally sold out. And it's all crammed up together. I really don't like those closed-in tight situations. Starts making me nervous, freaking me the fuck out. But I'm thinking, so we're sitting there. It's like all this acrobatics and all this crazy shit like an adult variety show. But the hosts of the show are the most vulgar, obscene, crazy, psychotic motherfuckers you can imagine. And guess what? They're in Las Vegas in this main featured show, hosting this show. Like they're saying fuck more than I say fuck. And that's a lot of fucking fucks. And they're just talking about some crazy shit, like monkey shit, and all this sexual, crazy, sick, psychotic shit, like nonstop, over and over. And this sold-out crowd is sitting there, who all paid to get in there. They paid money. The Vegas, you know, in Vegas, your your entertainment money, it's hard, a competitive market, as you can imagine, entertainment money. This fucking place was sold out the entire week for this show, and these motherfuckers are as nasty and obscene and crazy, saying the most wild, off-the-wall shit you can imagine. And there's a sold out crowd, a mixed crowd of every young, old, every type of race, religion you could think of in there having a great time watching these freaks with this show. And I'm thinking, you know what? That's, that's, this is exactly what my kids are telling me about. Like, just be yourself and not give a fuck what anyone thinks. And I guarantee you that all the people that are out there are going to hate you. There's going to be a ton more that can relate to you, no matter how wild and fucked up your head is like mine or off the wall you are. So... Let's keep moving on. See, Rosa? Rosa, look what you just did. Rosa, you got me sparked. You got me fucking fired up, Rosa. Who else is in there? Ita is in here. Is loving this. You guys need to go check out that show. I don't know if it's anywhere else. It was in Vegas. It was, it was freaking good. Obviously, I liked it because they just say fuck a lot and they say all kinds of other crazy shit, like wild shit. While at the same time, there's like some ridiculous, not human, like athletics and performances of like some variety show going on. Anyway, back, back to what we're talking about. So the next quote we have is Henry Ford. He says, anyone who stops learning is old, whether at 20 or 80. So if you're 20 and you're thinking of know-it-all and you stop reading books, you stop going to workshops and seminars, you start, stop listening to what people are trying to help you and teach you and train you about, and you stop learning from everyone you meet because you have your fucking ego that you're just some Billy Badass fucking know-it-all, guess what? You're done. You're basically fucking dead. Your growth is done. And you are fucking old. I don't care who you are or where you are in life. You're an old, dead motherfucker. So you need to always have an open mind so you can keep growing and developing and becoming a better or new version of yourself every freaking day. It's like Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee would train all the different martial arts. And he would keep what's useful and relevant and disregard what's useless. So you can always learn. You can always pick something. You can always find that one little golden nugget of useful information that you could bank in your fucking brain. And, you know, but it's up to you to stop being, you know, a hard-headed dipshit so you can find that nugget and actually recognize it and keep it and use it and remember it and then take action on it in the future. Find that lesson and the deeper meaning and that will make you fucking better in every area of life. So then let's talk about memory. We're talking about learning and learning from, from mistakes and learning from everyone you meet and all this other shit. Let's talk about memory because it's all about your mind, all about your brain, all about learning. And then you need to remember this shit. You need to process it. You need to remember it. You need to fucking take action on it. But memory works in a couple of different ways. Like, don't don't be thinking, you need to have short-term memory on bad shit. You need to have long-term memory on the good shit. So, you know, learning something new in my head ties into forgive, but don't forget. But it also ties into Basically, don't be a little bitch. Again, everything ties into don't be a little bitch. People can change. People can wake up. So grow the fuck up and finally become an adult. Learn to recognize things. Learning is all about listening, being aware, being open-minded, and recognizing what the fuck's going on. We've all done, you know, we've all fucked up in our lives. We've all done fucked up things. We've all made mistakes. So don't be a holier-than-thou douchebag when when someone else fucks up and it's time to help them out again and maybe give them a hand, even though they might have fucked up in the past, because we've all been there. But also don't be... You know, the one that you, you don't be one of those like complainers and one of those people who, have, who are like, what have you done for me lately? 
you know, where you're just whining and complaining. If someone has given you the fucking world and changed your fucking life and gone above and beyond the motherfucking call of duty to help you out, going out of their way, sacrificing their time, their energy, their money, increasing their own stress just to help you out when you were in your desperate time of need, then, then, and then that one time after all the helping and all the times they reached out to you to help you out, they twitch their eye in a wrong way that you just don't like and you go bitching and complaining about the person forgetting about all that they've already done for you. So don't be that fucking person about what have you done for me lately. You need memory. All this learning stuff is learning from the situations in so many different ways of looking at it. So, from so many different angles. Learning from the situations. Learning from the people. Learning from the past. And applying it in your life to make yourself fucking better. And to carry out your vision. And to follow the path that's being carved out for you by the people you're learning from. By the people that are helping you and training you. So don't be one of those assholes. No one wants to be one of those assholes. Don't just be an unappreciative asshole that none of us wants to be. None of us wants to be like that. Sometimes you have to stop being so hard-headed, bite the fucking bullet, pay a fucking attention, be aware of your surroundings and your situation, and shut your fucking mouth, and appreciate the world and the life and the health that you have surrounding you. Especially when the ones that you're bashing and bitching about have helped you out more than you realize, more than you recognize, and more than you seem to remember. So don't forget that shit. This is all about the learning process and losing your fucking ego and learning from everyone you meet. This all ties together together. I don't know if it ties together the way I'm saying it, but in my fucking head it ties together, so that's all that matters. I don't really care. So learn the difference. Learn something from every situation, from every person. From Learn from you know problems. Learn from all your problems, because problems are just opportunities. Opportunities to make yourself better, to make yourself stronger, wiser, to build up your adversarial freaking muscles, and basically make you not be a little bitch is what it's about. Again, it all comes back to that. Realize that, that your feet and your shit both fucking stink, it, and don't act like they don't. But trust me, it fucking does. That shit does not smell like roses and peaches. Learn from people in situations, you know, to look at yourself and realize if you're the one that's being fucked up and you need to appreciate, recognize, or maybe even apologize and especially get your own shit together. I'm going to leave you with two quotes from two very influential people in my life and in the world and in history. The first quote is from the great Dr. 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 Zeus. He said... The more that you read, the more things you will know. The more that you learn, the more places you'll go. Basically, you need to always be learning to make it to where you need to go. Just sitting there and reading something and not applying it and not actually learning it and not and being more open-minded is going to take you where you need to go, whether it's health, fitness, career, home, family, whatever the hell we're talking about. We're talking about everything. This is not just gym shit. This is fucking life shit we're talking about. And the last quote I'm going to leave you with to finish off is by one of the great famous bodybuilders Mahatma Gandhi said live as if you were to die tomorrow learn as if you were to live forever and that is to me some deep fucking shit imagine that where else in the fucking world but besides a Steve Says broadcast besides a peak freak fucking broadcast are you going to hear a quote from Dr. Seuss followed by a quote from Mahatma Gandhi and they both fucking drive home and make fucking sense only in this fucked up brain but anyway that's just how we roll This is episode 36. Steve says, you have any questions? Put that shit in here. I'll answer them. This is your chance live each week to ask your questions, whatever you have to do. Tell me to shut the fuck up. Tell me I'm nuts. I don't care. I love it. That's what makes me wake up in the morning. That's what fuels me. That's what gives me this fucking cocaine energy that you see in front of the camera for you. So I'll talk to you guys later. Keep kicking ass. You're all fucking awesome. And I'll talk to you next time. No excuses.